Hello, it's me, Bitsoul. Welcome back to the channel, and I have 30 things you may not have known you could do in Tears of the Kingdom Ultimate List by LB Price 62 from Re uh, Tears of the Kingdom subreddit. Alright, so the first one is, uh, after you rebuild Lurulin Village, the village head will hold a feast in Link's honor. At the feast, villagers will officially announce that Link can use all of the estab establishments in the village, including new lucky treasure shop. And Link can open chests every single day for free and receive a special reward. So, Luralin Village is this way at the very bottom of the screen. There you go. There is a. There is a. Um, shrine nearby there that you can teleport. Now, the thing is, uh, you can tweak the game's clock so that you can exploit, but um, I think what they meant was tweaking the system clock in order to reset because you are only allowed to get one per day the thing is you can get a you can give the owner a roasted armored porgy so that you can open up two chests you just need two more all right so Lurulin Village is right there. Take note that you need to be able to fix the village first. So the, you, the first time you stumble upon this area, you will need to have the village um, be rebuilt. There is a number of quests that you need to do. Uh, should take you at least an hour or so, depending on how fast you can go and the stuff you have. But having, heading over here or gliding towards here, you can already see that there is already armor porgies. There you go, Roasted Porgies. Grab all three of them, they're free. You can also get a free chest alongside with a couple of weapons here, for starters. That's actually random. Um, last time it was a Knight's uh, Broadsword instead of a Soldier's. Oh yeah, nice Broadsword and a Traveler's uh, Sword, so those are two. Now we need to head up over here to access the Lucky Shop. So this person will first give us, um, you know, thanks. Ah, there you go. So, crack open anything. This is what I opened first. Alright, you'll get the rupees first, but that's not the re the reward. But you'll you'll get something else uh, that's equal to what you picked up. So, you get the... The block horrible, horrible horn, so that's actually a fuse item. Now, if you talk to him again, he should be able to detect you uh, that you have a armored porgy. Hand it over to him so you can open the rest of them. So you can get all three of them. Now, take note that this is only once per real-time days, I believe, because I did rest up two times. And then he said that they come back again tomorrow. So that's basically an actual day. So this is a good exploit if you came over here as early as possible to get a very good um use of materials and you just keep talking to him and then he'll basically give you all of it all right and then you just have to wait for the next day this is very effective early on as you will get a very good uh fuse weapons just uh fuse materials just take note that you these can still break but uh they can actually give you a high attack power or fuse power that will give you a good advantage against um blue and black bokoblins or moblins and and should give you like better survivability especially if you have low amounts of hearts all right until next time